What's up, Jabroni Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into another pilot program show called The OC. Know nothing about the series at all. I couldn't tell you what the F it's about. I know some of the actors that are in it because I saw them in the thumbnail. I have seen that the show is like a teen angsty drama, according to the person that requested me to do this show. Um, if you didn't know, I, I have a tier on Patreon, which if you support me at that tier, I will react to any pilot that you want me to react to. Um, so it's just called the pilot program tier. Um, yeah, I don't know much else about the show. I'm excited to see what it's about. I don't mind teen angsty shows. Um, I've seen One Tree Hill. I've seen Dawson's Creek. I mean, when they aired several, several years ago. Um, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not when they aired, but... I was young. Um, I don't expect this to be anything like Veronica Mars or other teen shows that I've seen. I mean, I watched Glee. Glee was, I loved Glee. Glee was awesome. But it was a very different kind of show. I don't know if this is going to be like a drama or anything. It did say drama romance in the thumbnail. So we'll see what that's about. Hopefully some of you guys are intrigued by this, find it interesting. And yeah, we're just going to find out what it's about. Let's watch these pretty, pretty people in California. Do some things. Um, you can get the full reaction over on Patreon if you want. Uh, $10 tier gets you pilot program shows, access to those, full reaction, uncut, unedited. There's about 20 or so shows over there, maybe a little bit more than that, in that uh, bracket. Shows like Cowboy Bebop, shows like Roswell, shows like The Magician. I mean, there's a bunch of shows over there. Head over there, check them out if you want to see the pilot for those shows, Gotham's over there, because I know that the Ben McKenzie guy's in here, because I saw his name. But yeah, head over there if you want, don't worry. Link's in the description if you want to check that out. If not, don't worry, we're gonna get started. Pretty much, let's hop into the OC, see what it's all about. Yo. Surprised you guys aren't hurt. Was there a reasoning for that? Like, were we stealing it for a purpose, or just wanted a late night joyride? You test scores, 98 percentile in your SAT ones. Holy shit! Right, 98 percentile. If you start going to class, are you thinking about college? I grew up no money, bad part of the Bronx. My father was gone. My mother worked all the time. I was pissed off. I was stupid. And look at you now. Interesting. I did not think the show was gonna be like this. I thought it was gonna be like. Hopping right into teen angst. You gotta have a plan. Hey, what kind it's of mommy. Things huh? get to be too much. Call me. Let's go. You're in the thumbnail. I wonder if he adopts you. Hey, it's in your house, man. Are oh, you a tough guy now? I AJ, will, don't. I will Why hit you out? with the fucking shit. AJ, instead of freeloading off my mom. Ooh, okay. shit. Punch him back. Okay. Never mind. Didn't work well. <laughs> yeah, you are a lovely mother. Mother. Why don't you wait here for a minute? I'll be back. Explain this to your wife. It's no fun if the key's in the car. <laughs> Endangering our home. Did you even think of Seth? I say it's only for the weekend. Just so he has a kid, what is, a boy, is not a girl. He's just using you to case the house. <laughs> he's not a criminal mastermind. He's a kid who has no one and nowhere to go. When did you become so cynical? Okay, so the girl's your the neighbor. This is me, Misha Burton, right? Who are you? Whoever you want me to be. Nice. Okay. <laughs> He's the bad boy that you're probably gonna fall in love with, aren't it? Isn't it? I'm gonna go with Seth as like a nerdy kid, and this guy's gonna get Seth into a whole lot of shenanigans. Hi, Marissa. Hey, Mr. Cohen. I was just meeting your nephew. <laughs> oh, my favorite nephew, Ryan, <laughs> all the way from.
from Seattle. Let's go. Hey, you from Nashville? Bye, check it out. If you don't have other plans. Hey, this is Adam Brody. Hey. You meant hey. somebody challenge? That way they were worried about him, or is he just like socially awkward? What? Oh, looks like someone's trying to be a hero, but he got a little conky. Seth, what are you doing inside on this beautiful day? Why don't you show Ryan around? Okay, because it's so great around here. There's so much to do, Dad. To the high seas. So I just think he's awkward. I don't think he's like. Right I mean, I'm, I would have been just the same thing it's playing video games to get some cereal. What? All that a morning. Don't do. <laughs> Wait, you named hey, the boat after a girl that you I head over to the fashion show at about seven. Yeah, have fun. Come on. It's a whole new school year, Seth. It's also the same kids, Dad. <laughs> Why do we even need a fashion show? Every day's a fashion show for these people. Remind him again how much we'd like to talk. Let me leave you another one of my cards. That's... Have a good day. Tax fraud. Insider trading. What does your dad do? This is, this, this is very out, weird. Sir. He's like really, like he's helping him so quickly. He's known him for a day and a uh, half. Two days. All right. He's an interesting kid if you get to know him. Honey, I thought you were gonna wear your hair down. Pull back like that, it's a little harsh on your angles. Okay. Thanks, go. Mom. Shit. <laughs> I want my husband to be right about you. Man, look at this boring ass party you got me at. Like me to be here sober? Oh shit. Is that summer? that you, you're fucking pointing what kind of father points bro you don't i know <laughs> he pointed uh, why do girls do that in the shows they always flirt with the guys and the guys are gonna get their ass by their boyfriends he's in i bet i bet he's an investment banker and he just lost a lot of money First, I thought it was insider trading, but I don't think it's that because if it was insider trading, you he wouldn't be crying, would he? My friend Holly, not, well, her parents are letting us use her beach house. <laughs> makes absolutely no sense, but yes, we should. Oh, guys. <laughs> he should have been like, she said, uh, bring your friend. I can see how this show would like for the time period. It feels like, I don't know. I don't want to say it's like the Riverdale for the time period, but it feels like a show like very that teens would really want to watch. Is there a show like this on TV right now? I'll be on Riverdale because I haven't seen Riverdale, but I don't know, everything. I, holy shit! Isn't it like so beautiful? The sand and the water. Well, you're gonna cheat on him. Awesome. Hey, you wanna go check it out? But what about your current girlfriend? No worries. She definitely won't mind if I have sex with you in the sand. No, that won't be that's not a problem. We have an open relationship. Really learn to knock in case there's a threesome going on in the back. <laughs> See what I would do is I would hang out with these guys and pretend like I was just stoned out of my ass. If I was him. What's your name anyway? Ryan. Ryan. Um Thank you. Oh shit. Just go back to Chino. I'm sure there's a really nice car in the parking lot that you could steal. Oh fuck. You about to get jumped, aren't you? Go home, What the fuck? Here we go. Time for me to whoop you out. What the oh, they're really about to jump my man. You got a problem? Good. You tell me. Ooh. Let's go. Time for me to whoop your ass. One down. Next. Oh, never mind. The man's got more willpower than I thought. All right, Ryan, uh, my boy, uh, Seth, you're going to have to help a little bit. There we go. Get in on the fight. Well, you got your ass whipped saving your new friend. Respects. Wonder if the mom will blame you for everything. Oh, my God, dude. She's fucking passed out. Rainbow she gets grounded. Do anything else to her, like pick her up or anything. And oh, wait, he's bring—he's gonna have her sleep over here. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> what happened to your face? Mm, I got into a fight. 
With who? Why? I don't really know. I don't really remember. Um, I was really drunk. You don't seem to mind living in this bubble. Well, I, I know there's something else out there. He works out. Remember when we were 22? What'd you say? You said you'd never, you'd never be like your parents. You'd never have their life. Cool. Or, not cool, but, you know, what I think I mean. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Wow, man. Literally in one in one episode, we were able to um, get that friendship feeling real. Loner kid, loner kid. Very different kinds of loner, but loner nonetheless. Go against his <laughs> his wife's wishes here. Mom bailed on him. All right. Well, that was episode number one of the OC. I really like that episode. I mean, it's a lot of cliche stuff when it comes to these kind of shows. So you either really like it or you don't. Um, there is no real way around it. The cliche characters, the typical stories that you've seen, um, like story you've seen and like shows like i like dawson's creek or the shows that i mentioned like one tree hill or probably Rose, um probably um riverdale and all those kind of shows very similar story um by the characters at least the ryan character and the way that he is is very different um i mean to up to a point i mean he is still the the rebel character who you know what i mean like the, the rebel character who the bad boy who the girl's gonna like, but he's a bad boy who has a heart, you know. But I enjoyed the character. I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed the um, Seth character. I enjoyed the uh, the Ryan character. Um, what's the what did they? What's other uh, one girl? Marissa, right? Marissa character. You, the girls didn't really get any kind of shine in this episode, really. Not any good shine. The Rachel girl seemed kind of ditzy and not a likable person and the marissa character didn't get a lot to say besides essentially be a damsel in distress but if i had to give a rating for the episode i think it was a bit better than what i expected so i'd give an eight um for me uh, for me a bad episode like a, a below average episode is about a five um to me average is six seven range and i think this was better i like all the characters the stories the setting up of a lot of things. I liked it. The beginning was kind of rocky. I mean, the whole stealing of the car thing, but it was like, it felt like we just kind of got to get into a fast start. His brother's a loser. His mom's a loser. Dad's a loser. Stepdad's a loser. Whatever the guy was. Mom's boyfriend's a loser. It, it wanted to establish all the character, and it was like, we just need to establish a way for him to get there from here to here. And it did that. It got us where we needed to go. But once we get there, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna stop all loose. Just once he gets hit, he gets kicked out. Cause uh, this uh, one guy, and it starts establishing all the characters. And like I said, I'm. I mean, like I said, it's it has a lot of the cliche things, but it plays a little bit of a twist on the cliches, right? Like, because it could have gone that he's just a bad boy, right? And he has like an attitude, but no, he was just a nice guy. He was he he he's respectful. He just comes from a really shitty family, and even the wife of um this guy she could have been the cliche woman stuck up lady but she's not she's very different than you what you would expect in, the, in this kind of thing she has a heart but she is worried about her only her only child so it makes sense you know the bag the girl trying to be bad the friends who don't really care introducing us to him um seth so when i first saw him i was like i was, I was wondering if they were going to go in the angle where he's like mentally challenged or anything like that but no they just went well he's socially awkward but i mean Playing PlayStation and eating cereal in the morning, man, dude's living the dream right now. Um, he's he likes to sail. He he has a crush on a girl. The girl's sucks essentially. Then we have the next door neighbors, the insider trading. I'm guessing or maybe poor investments. I'm not exactly sure what the dad did. Whatever did made him cry. It was insider trading. I don't know. 
Not sure exactly. He wouldn't like they wouldn't give him a letter to come see us. I'm thinking he had made poor like poor investments. And then we go to the party. Pretty typical stuff. The guy, this guy's from Nashville. The guy that I was saying, whatever the hell he is, um, hanging out with the, at the kids' table, which is weird. But if you have nobody else to go hang out with, why not? Summer liking the boy. I knew that that was going to be an angle that they went with because it felt like a cliche kind of thing. But the angle of the um, the Seth kid actually in her, like showing some backbone and pushing back and like getting mad about it right away or getting mad in that way, making a scene. Interesting. I, I thought that the big fight type thing would have started because this girl kept looking at um, the Ryan guy. So and the boyfriend was going to get mad, but he did get mad, but it became something later and Ryan seeing that cry, the party, him trying to set everything up. I liked all this. Their whole introduction of the past, they must have had a past. Um, I don't know if it was a romantic past, but they grew up together. So that's another interesting kind of uh, thing that they threw into there. We had the party, her being drunk. I guess that cliche stuff, them getting an ass whooped. Um... Yeah, this like this part, like the friends not caring, leaving her passed out. They could have gone into the he so again, different ways they could have gone. I thought he was gonna Greg, he was gonna like be going through her person, her dad was gonna show up and it was gonna be like a big scene or something, maybe the boyfriend shows up or something, but they didn't. He literally just took her to the pool house, had her sleep there, and they kinda let her go, which is not something I was expecting. So I appreciated that. Um then the mom showing up because he never showed up. Um, getting mad. I mean, this is all it's if you know what it might have been also been elevated by pretty good writing honestly for the teens and all the characters for the most part like one thing i on i knock on shows is when the writing feels very not good and they don't talk like how kids would talk or they don't talk how regular people would talk or even stuck up people everybody seemed to fit their their type their lingo everything kind of fit well I'm going with this show is probably from like the early 2000s, maybe 2001-ish, maybe. I'm not exactly sure when this show's from. Let me actually look it up real quick. But, yeah, second row. The OC. Because they had cell phones, so maybe it was mid-2000s. Maybe, because they had cell phones, right? So, this is from, can't find a year, uh, 2003. So, yeah, early 2000s, just because they had cell phones, right? Um, let's see. I'm, I'm leaving. The mom leaving? What? I wasn't, I, I wasn't expecting that at all. I didn't know what I was expecting. My brain didn't really process what exactly was going to happen when he walked in. I thought maybe, maybe he'd walk in, the mom yell at him, and then he would see it. But instead, he walks in. Something was on the paper. We won't see that in this. We didn't see it in this episode. I'm guessing it'll come back later. But the mom just bailed. Just bailed. It's crazy. Think about it. And, you know, he's, he's going to bring him back and just kind of, the wife is going to have to live with it for a while. I don't know. I really enjoyed the episode. I was engaged and, like, I was really into the entire thing. Um, nothing that I actually hated. Uh, like I said, mostly, most of the characters are pretty cliche. The shitty boyfriend, the friend that's kind of crazy. The, them two will probably hug up at one point. I mean, everything seemed kind of cliche, but for the most part, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, as always, if you like what I do here, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reaction. Links in the description if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to talk to you guys later.